The Pitt Panther offense in 2016 surprised many of us with its um, productivity, its explosiveness. And, uh, of course, you go to the quarterback, the wide receivers, the running game. you got to think offensive line as well. If you don't have the offensive line, the other guys don't have the space and the room to work with, and they're sitting on their backs most of the time, can't get down the field. We bring in Jim Hammett from Cardiac Hill. He's our Pitt guy talking Pitt football here on Mark Rogers TV. Pitt, uh, Jim, we always appreciate the time. Let's talk about... Uh, the offensive line, uh, you've got a couple proven players who we're going to see in the combine, going to see uh, most likely taken in the NFL draft. Those guys are gone. you got three starters back. Uh, your, your thoughts about the uh, starting situation? Yeah, losing uh, two uh, mainstay starters like Dorian Johnson and Adam Bisnavati is obviously uh, not an ideal situation. Both guys have started every game the past three years and both look to be second or third round picks in the upcoming draft. So you know, that, that's your left side of the line you have to replace right away. So obviously, uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a transition. And uh, of course, with a new offensive coordinator coming in. So we'll have to see how it goes. But they do have a few linemen back. Um, most notably is Brian O'Neill. He was the right tackle this past season. I could see him shifting to the left side. Um, he's a junior, uh, talented, uh, was actually a converted tight end. And, you know, he actually displayed some athleticism this season with uh, you know, Pitt actually gave him the ball a couple times. He scored a couple touchdowns in the bowl game. They let him try to throw a pass. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know if the new offensive coordinator will be as creative as Matt Canada, but he's a fun player to watch. And I, I think he's a guy that's eventually going to be a pretty high draft pick down the line. And, uh, you know, I think he's going to be the anchor. All right. Uh, anybody else along the offensive line? When you look at the depth, I know before we started to record, you're a bit concerned about uh, lack of depth. And obviously, offensive line is one of the key positions where you, you need that rotation to a certain extent. You can go with five guys, but uh, you need at least one or two capable guys that you can trust uh, to fill in the gaps. Yeah, I mean, also returning starters is, uh, you know, Alex Officer. He was a center this past season. He has a lot of starts under his belt. Uh, he switched between center and guard the past couple of seasons. So I think he's a guy they can rely on. And uh, Alex Bookser was the starting right guard this past season. He started every game. So he was a heralded recruit, a four-star uh, locally from Pittsburgh. So, I mean, those are your three big linemen. And from there, it's it's going to be a little bit of a competition. Uh, one guy that's, uh, you know, people have their eye on and they're hoping can be a big-time player is Jared Jones-Smith. Uh, he's a massive 6'7", 340-pound tackle uh, has some playing time experience. He actually got hurt two years ago, uh, played a little bit last year, but he was a guy at one time had a lot of expectations. So people are hoping for him in his senior year to come back strong. Jim, of course, you've got uh, one guy already on campus as an early enrollee out of the 2017 class in uh, Jerry Drake, pretty highly rated uh, offensive tackle out of For Florida, a top 100 player uh, there in the state of Florida, and also Carter Warren. I know that uh, you've talked about him in regards to possibly needing him to get into the mix. Maybe not necessarily two guys that um, that uh, have to play this fall, but uh, definitely if, if they've got the talent and, and develop quickly and learn the the blocking scheme, then uh, maybe they contribute. Yeah, definitely. Offensive line is not a position where um, uh, freshmen typically play. That's something you kind of want them to redshirt. Usually, high school linemen, they're they're just bigger than everyone, but they're not. You know, once they get to college, they have to you know face players their own size. So they normally need a year to get ready. But uh, Carter Warren and Jerry Drake are both massive players. They're both six foot six, over three hundred pounds. They look the part and. Uh, Currently, right now, with Pitt's offensive line situation, there's not a lot of depth. Um, you know, they had a couple of juniors with you know that were red shirts. They kind of moved on. So there's a lot of freshmen littering the two deep depth chart. So there are two guys that could come in, and you know, if someone like J Joan Smith or O'Neill comes down, um, I mean, they're they're guys that may possibly have to step up, and there's not really much of a choice. All right, it's a pit offensive line that uh, paved the way for tons of points in uh, production last year and obviously scoring more than 40 points in particular against the likes of Penn State and against Clemson, but uh, new players in place at the skill positions, definitely at quarterback uh, with Max Brown, who has certainly the talent to cut things loose and keep this thing going, and the offensive line will, again, be key, as it is with everybody else. All right, uh, Jim Hammett uh, from Cardiac Hill breaking down the offensive line. We, we appreciate it, Jim. Thanks, Mark.